Hey guys, what's up? So for this video, I will show you guys how I repainted Courtly Jester from Ever After High. First, let's go ahead and take acetone or nail polish remover to remove her face. Next, let's go ahead and take Mr. Super Clear or MSE and spray her face. After that, I'm going to go ahead and use watercolor pencils, chalk pastels, and also brushes so we can draw her face. So um, now I just finished with her face repaint and I made the diamond on her eye wider and I added a small diamond here kind of to balance it and as you can see the eyebrows over here is purple and then the eyebrows over here is blonde so that's pretty cute um, she kind of looks pretty similar to the first version I just made her eyes red because I thought it fits better um, and then I put her hair in pigtails. I just don't know if I should cut it. I just don't know if I want it to be sh like actual short, like cut it short, or if I should leave it as pigtails. I feel like it looks really cute and playful. Like, it kind of like reminds me of Harley Quinn. Um, so we'll see. Let's go ahead and work on her accessories. So I laid them out over here. So for her dress, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not going to touch it a lot, I'm going to sprinkle gold with it though, like spray paint some of it gold. Just like specks, but I'm not going to cover it completely. And then I'm going to add more details on her um, collar. So I'm going to add like darks and dry paint it with black and all of that. Same with her accessories and her boots and stuff. Um, you guys know um, typically what I do, so I'm just going to add more dimension to all of this. Uh, but let me go and give you guys a quick rant. I really dislike the fact that she has molded tights. Like, it doesn't have the same mobility. I can't even give her... Like, I can't even make her cross her legs completely. Like, look at that. It's kind of... It's not nice. I don't like it. And... I'm afraid that they're gonna be doing this for the future dolls. And I was looking at the leaked pictures and all of them look like they had molded tights. And I am really really upset about that because if that is true, I don't think I will be getting them. The only reason why I got this one is because she is a character by herself. But it's just kind of ridiculous and I don't like it. But anyways, we'll see. We'll hope that they won't really change a lot of things because I love Ever After High because of the whole customization and why, and you know, I can customize it. Um, but for this one, I am going to dry paint it with black just to add more dimension because it looks really flat and kind of gross. So that's what I'm going to do. So just to get it over with, first I'm going to go ahead and speckle this with gold. This is how her dress looks. And um, like I said, I just speckled gold on it just to kind of make it a little subdued because I want everything else to stand out. So 
that's pretty much it. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add details on her collar, and I kind of want to paint it black and dark, so I'm gonna do that. Let me show you guys everything that I did. Um, as you can see, I dry painted her tights, so it has it looks a little like edgier, um, you know, as definition. <laughs> this is how her dress looks. Um, like I said, I just speckled gold to it. This is how her neck piece looks. You know, I added the stripes and I added the gold speckles too. And this is her belt, which has added stripes and also gold on it. And then this is the other belt. As you can see, I just dry painted it with black. I have her crown over here, which I painted with black and gold. And then I have two of her shoes over here, which I pretty much just painted all of the spikes and um, rivets gold. And then I dry painted it with black to give it definition. Mm -hmm. 